Transaction Cost Economics, a theory by Oliver Williamson, organizes our seemingly incomplete and primitive perceptions of the economy. This theory argues that there are three important governance structures that form the blueprint for economic transactions. Let's start with market. The market is a meeting place for buyers and suppliers for a given product or service. For each buyer, the identity of the supplier is not important, whether the buyer is a boy or girl. He or she is merely interested in the product and price he or she has to pay. The market is unforgiving in the sense that if a supplier wants to ask for a higher price, no buyer will be willing to pay. If a buyer wants to pay for a lower price, no supplier will be willing to sell. Sometimes, a specific buyer-supplier transaction can outperform the market if they both make an additional investment. This type of investments depend on other market participants called asset-specific investments. These can be investments in better production, human capital, or physical assets. The case for a buyer-supplier transaction isn't always perfect. Both the buyer and the supplier may abuse, outweigh, dominate, or pull the other down. Put into a more relatable case, imagine being in a relationship for two long, happy years. You tell all the juiciest details about this happy time to your best friend only to discover that said best friend and the person you've been dating are also going at it behind your back. Oops, one word, betrayal. Now, to avoid betrayal in a business, a written document serves as a superhero in this matter. This is when contracts come in. A solution for this conundrum is a long-term contract in which buyer and supplier specify who has to do which investments. They will also specify the rewards and punishments for either following or not following the duties and responsibilities. Parties will have to specify how they want to address conflicts. They can resort to court cases or try to negotiate. Because one thing's for sure, contracts can achieve cooperative or coordinate adaptability. Make sure buyer and supplier invest in the necessary assets and make sure both parties adapt to their investments. Moving on to the hierarchical organizations. It's no different from the concept of hierarchy discussed in bureaucratic management by Max Weber. But in this case, it's not the people that are placed under the hierarchy, rather the responsibilities and duties. The buyer and suppliers are no longer two different entities. One of the advantages of organizations is that they can handle conflicts more efficiently than the market. To establish efficient handling of conflicts, the organization could be more forgiving than the market. This is what Williamson calls the law of forbearance. Members of the organization know that not all mistakes will be harshly punished. In a nutshell, the important aspect in the transaction cost economics theory is that market, contracts, and hierarchical bureaucracies and their interconnectedness are efficient for different transactions.